Okay. We're continuing on the other side of the fence, coming around the same way around the house. We've got some erosion on this corner, so this corner will be the second bedroom. Yeah. No? First bedroom? Anyway, regardless, this would be the southeast corner. We've got a little bit of erosion here, this fence. Okay, there's wood rot and termite damage. Wood rot, previous termite damage. Okay, something that comes up in there. Previous termite, previous termites. Closer to the structure than six feet. The neighbor might have had this handled, huh, for all I know. But I have to recommend documentation. Without documentation, I have to recommend treatment. They're probably gone, I get that. They're probably not here, I get that. Not coming back, I get that. I also get that you probably need some treatment. I might find some signs of treatment inside, I don't know. But right now, this fence, again, beyond the scope of the inspection, except for as it touches the house. So this fence is in pretty bad shape. Now let's look at this one more time. As far as the home inspection is concerned, it's where it touches the house. But as far as the termites are concerned, it's within six feet of the house. I'm not a tall person. This is closer than six feet. So let's keep going down the east wall. The windows, I mean, they all look pretty much the same. Oh, that's a little more rotten wood than the first one I was pointing just a moment ago. Coming on along. This is a lot more rotten wood. See that? No bueno. Not good. Not good at all. Coming along, we got some cracks in the foundation. These are not what people call shrinkage cracks. Some people call them corner pops. But these are not. These are farther away from the corner than that. We got one there, one there. One here, one here. One here. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Coming on along here. Seven. Counting seven so far. Let me get out my little. Here we One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got us a little bit of wood rot right there on the freeze. Coming on along. Again, double pane, vinyl frame, that's all right. The disconnects over to the side. We're going to talk about this in a little bit. We're going to talk about this in a little bit. But I don't know if I can talk about it enough. 100 amps is all that's required by code for a 500 square foot apartment. Most municipalities currently require a minimum of 150. But the code, the national code, international code actually, only says 100 per residence. City of Dallas most likely says something different. Uh, there should be a rain diverter over the condensing unit and we'll re-explore that. This cable should not be closer than 12 feet. People can hang their swimming suits on that to dry. Something like that. It's where the gas enters the house. Now here's uh, that's a that's a gas valve on the end of a. This is a main shutoff. Maybe for just the exterior. Maybe just for the exterior, but that's a main shutoff valve to the house. And that's old school rod type. Even is to the house, it'll probably fail on you. What I'm saying is, if that does shut off all the water to the house, and you have an emergency, you come out here and try to turn that off, you're probably still going out to the meter to turn the water off to the house. And after you fix the problem inside the house, then you're going to be coming out here and digging that up and installing a new valve. 
I can't promise you that's what's happening, but that, that's what a betting man would do. This is gas coming into the house. Parallel is on. Perpendicular is off. If you have an emergency, bring a wrench out here and turn it off. This, I'm not sure if that's to the water heater. I, I doubt it's to the, yep, that's probably to the water heater, TMP valve. Okay, not good. It should have a 90 degree towards the ground. It should terminate within three inches of the ground. Not good. Negative drainage along the side of the house. Coming online, we got a torn screen. Two torn screens. Okay. Finally got that. Got a little more wood damage right in here. Soil lines just is nah, it's a little high. Bushes or grass is high. Looks like we used to have a gas, some kind of a pipe here, maybe fence, whatever. See that right there? That's a techno shot. That's a techno shot. Okay. Oh, well, why not? This is the only exterior receptacle I've seen. It's not GFCI protected though. Works. So you do have one in the backyard. Don't have one on the front porch. Don't have one for your air conditioning system.